Hey, Gleek.io fans! In this video, we are going to design a class diagram for a restaurant management system. Fire up the Gleek.io app in your browser. Select Class Diagram from the drop down. You'll learn what class is attributes, and methods you need to make sure the restaurant runs smoothly. First, we need to work out what classes we need to include. We need a member of staff who can create reservations. Let's call that person the receptionist. Just type the word receptionist, then hit enter, and the tab key to add the method create reservation. This method enables the receptionist to create a reservation, so our next class is the reservation class. It needs a reservation ID attribute to keep it unique, reservation time to track the time when the guests will arrive, and number of people to track the number of guests. The methods allow the guest to cancel or change the reservation. The receptionist creates the reservation, so we use a labeled arrow between the two to show the relationship. The next class is Table, and it needs a table number and also a table status, as it might be out of service or already reserved. It also needs a max capacity attribute so that the correct number of people can be seated. As for methods, it just needs a way to add the reservation. There's a direct relationship between table and reservation. The reservation is made for a particular table, so the restaurant matches the number of guests to the right table. This relationship will have cardinality so that it's clear that a many-to-many -many relationship exists between these two classes. Now let's assume that the guests are seated in our restaurant. It's a high-tech restaurant, so they can check in on their smartphones, read the menu, and submit orders. That means we need a customer class and an order class. The customer class needs a few basic attributes such as name, contact number, and unique customer ID. They also need some methods to interact with the system such as check-in, check-out, last visited, cancel order, and modify order. The order class also needs a unique ID, a status, and the ability to add or remove menu items. The relationship is a straightforward one as the customer makes an order. As you expected, the customer also needs a menu, and the menu needs to be filled with tasty dishes to choose from. That brings us to the menu and menu item classes. The menu class doesn't need any particular methods, but it has two attributes. On the contrary, the menu item class has a range of attributes and a single method. The relationship is simple, but it illustrates one-to-many cardinality because one menu can have many menu items. Enter another two classes, the waiter and chef. They have a relationship to the order class in that the waiter takes the order and the chef prepares the order.
The Menu Items class also has a relationship to the Order class, as menu items can be added or removed as part of its methods. To bring it all together, we need to add the last class, the Bill. The guests have enjoyed their evening, but it's time to pay. The Bill class has a one-to-one -one relationship with the Order class and will need to have a unique ID. Record the customer ID and the payment type. It will just need two methods, one to pay and one to cancel the payment in case the restaurant owner is feeling especially generous. The restaurant management system is not the easiest class diagram to create, but it nicely shows relationships between classes, so I hope you learned a lot from watching this video. Making a video takes a couple hours to create, but it will take you just a second or two to hit the like or subscribe button, so let us know if you liked it. Happy diagramming!